Hello, my name is Nicholas Yale, and today on the History Channel, we will be investigating the life of one of the more colorful characters in American history, one John Humphrey Noyes. Noyes was born in the small town of Brattleboro, Virginia in 1811. He was the son of a minister and was raised a devout Christian. His goal in life was to create a utopian society where one could live free of sin. Mmm, what good coffee. We will now be taking a look at some old footage of John Humphrey Noyce in his early schooling years. Oh, there he is, the famous Mr. Noyce. Mr. Noyce! Mr. Noyce! Mr. Noyce, can I talk to you for a minute? Can I ask you a couple questions? Fine, but I'm studying for a test. And I have no time, so make it quick. Well, Mr. Noyes, I was just interested why you chose to attend the Yale Theological Seminar. This question's irritating. Well, after graduating Dartmouth, rather than studying law like I originally intended to, I decided to rededicate myself to religion and to Christ. Wow, that's really amazing. So, what exactly are your views on religion? Well, as you know, I want to become a Christian minister. And I have already concluded that the second coming of Christ had taken place in 70 AD. Wh when? In 70 AD. Wow. Yes, that means that... That's mankind, a huge discovery. It means that mankind is already living in a new age. Wow. That's now amazing. Leave. Thank you for talking to me, sir. Wow, what an enlightening experience that was. Mr. Noise is such an amazing man. Anyways, let's get back to business. After finishing his studies, Mr. Noise began to take an interest in the concepts of sin and salvation. He argued that in order to be a true Christian, one must be perfect and completely free of sin. He then began to declare to others that he himself did not sin. In 1838, Noyes married the beautiful Harriet Holton. They lived together for six years, and within those six years, Harriet gave birth not just once, not just twice, not just three times. Harriet gave birth five times. Sadly, Four of those children were born premature and perished. This personal conflict led Mr. Noyes to desire to study sexual intercourse in the course of marriage. And these studies led to Noyes separating from his wife and claiming that this separation brought both of them a newfound satisfaction. Based on his ideals, Noyes went on to create his own community called the Oneida Community. Oneida! Now, let us take a blast to the past and explore the Oneida Community. Follow me. Mr. Noise, Mr. Noise, can I talk to you for a second? Mr. Noise! Can I help you? Mr. Noise, can you tell me a little bit about the Oneida Community that you run here? Well, as you know, I'm a perfect human being free of sin, a true Christian. My community is also. Here in this community, there are no marriages. If a man and a woman are to have sexual intercourse, it shall be for the sole purpose of creating a child. If they are to have sexual intercourse, it must first be decided by a committee. Uh -huh. I'm reviewing notes right now. Wow, that's amazing. Um, what's the goal of the community that we live in? Well, the goal is to be a, a true Christian community completely free of sin. Such sins, such as like having sexual intercourse without the intention to create a child is a sin, also is masturbation. Um, so how do you fund uh, your community here? Well, the community has a lot of different ways to create funding. The most successful are the manufacturing and trade of silverware. Uh -huh. We have smaller industries, such as 
canning fruits and vegetables, and we manufacture animal traps. Wow. Now, if you'll please excuse me, I have work to do. Wow, thanks for talking to me, Mr. Noyes. Now, wow, I wonder what they're talking about. As you can see, we have... Mr. Noyes, can I talk to you for a second? Mr. Noyes, Mr. Noyes, can I talk to you? No, as you, I am very busy right now. Please leave. Well, can I just sit and videotape your conversation, maybe? This man is very annoying. I assume, yes. So, as I was explaining earlier, the committee has decided that you are a perfect partner for Isabella. You cool. two are approved to have sex because we feel that you are very, very likely to impregnate her. We think that there's a very high chance that she will have a child. Wow, so fascinating. Can you please be quiet while I have this conversation? I'm not so sorry, so sorry. Okay, thank you. Your training went over nicely and... Thank you. No problem. <laughs> Wow, that was amazing. Excuse me, excuse me. May I talk to you for a minute? Excuse me? Yeah, of course. Well, I was just wondering, are you a part of the Oneida community? I am. Well, could you just tell me a little bit about what it's like being part of such an interesting community? Well, it's how I grew up, and I find that the pursuit of, perfec of perfection is incredibly valuable. And uh, my teacher, Mr. Noyes, uh -huh. he, he's truly amazing. Yeah, do you like his, uh, his um, perfectionist ideas? Do they resonate with you? Yes, of course. That's why I'm here. Do you think that um, you yourself are free of sin? Everyone in my community is free of sin. Wow, Th that's truly amazing. Thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you. Of course, of course, Mr. President. I would love to join you for dinner this Sunday. <laughs> oh, you, you, you. Oh, my. Ah, uh, well, say hello to Michelle for me. Ah, uh, give your kids a hug for me. All right. Yeah, peace out. Wow. What an amazing invigorating journey we have now taken into the life of John Humphrey Noyes. John Humphrey Noyes was more than just a social and religious performer. He was driven by religion, driven by an idea that resonated in him. He once said, my heart was fixed on the millennium and I resolved to live or die for it. That really shows commitment. John Humphrey Noyes created an amazing utopian society where he implemented his ideals successfully in a community. Though it may not have been normal in everyday life in America, it was still very progressive and new thinking. Props to you, John Humphrey Noyes. All right, viewers, I hope you enjoyed this special episode on John Humphrey Noyes. This has been the History Channel with Nicholas Yale. Now, I have one last thing to leave you with. As the great John Humphrey Noyes once said, I am perfect. Da-na-na.